The last time Iowa basketball went to the Final Four was 1980, and that team was in Kinnick Stadium on Saturday when Iowa took on Indiana. Among those welcome back was the coach of that team, Lute Olson. Coach Olson reflected on what made that team so special. It just seemed like there were obstacles being thrown in our way um, all the way through, and it... Uh, the old statement about what doesn't kill us makes us tougher was probably a statement that would fit that, would have fit that team. Uh, it just seemed like uh, they got tougher and closer together as the year wore on. Olson recalled the 1980 Elite Eight nail biter versus Georgetown that propelled that team to the Final Four. I still don't. I um, I still haven't looked at the second half of that tape. That that would scare me to look at it because uh, I'd know one one turnover in there would have cost us that 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 game. But that that has to go down as one of the most unbelievable halves of basketball when you look at both teams as close to perfection as, as those two teams were. And that was an outstanding Georgetown team, too. Olson also talked about the special bond that he shared with his players during his Hall of Fame coaching career. I, uh, you know, I haven't been in other professions, or, um, but I, I, I can't imagine that you have the, close, the closeness uh, with individuals that you do. Uh, in coaching and in basketball in particular where you're dealing with you know a 15 man squad or 12 or 13 man squad before he concluded his remarks Olson mentioned why he loves Iowa Hawkeye fans you know I like the fact that the the, the Iowa fans are the way they are and the the interest in the game was such that you know to I mean now with football the place is packed well the place was packed like I think when I came here, football had had like, what, uh, 19 consecutive non-winning seasons and they were still sold out and, you know, that kind of loyalty among the fans was something. It's nice when you, when you work in a place where uh, what you do is, is important to the fans. And I think that was one of the things that drew me to, to this. Reporting from inside Kinnick Stadium, I'm Alex Salzma for Palestra.net, the college network.